kids wanted to see a big screen version of the cartoon. Mm -hmm. We got the opposite. And we loved it. And still loved it. Yeah. Hello and welcome to another edition of Frightfully Forgotten's Tales from the VHS Vault. Today we're going to talk about a very important movie <laughs> in our childhood and that is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah, 1990. We of course grew up with the cartoon before the movie came out. The cartoon was everything. It was like, it had all the wicked characters, Krang, the Technodrome. Yeah. Remember the toys? Did you have a Technodrome? No, I never had the Technodrome. Rich kids had the Technodrome. Yeah. The fucker was huge. You were like, a rich prick if you had a fucking Technodrome. Yeah, I remember I wanted it. And I knew a kid who had one. I, I can't remember. I what seem to remember a kid having one, like. Yeah, and it actually wasn't as good as you thought it was, though. Yeah. It was like, you know, yeah, I could do without it. I had the car, that Cadillac car from the people from the Planet X. That thing was cool. That was a cool yeah. toy. Yeah, it was kind of neat. And we kind of used to use it if we'd play a Back to the Future game. Mm -hmm. we'd, we'd kind of double it as a DeLorean because there was no DeLorean toys at the time. Yeah, because the tires folded in like in <laughs> like in back to the future part two yeah i had the turtle blimp yeah you had a lot of turtle toys i didn't have mm -hmm. so many mm. i had a couple you had the turtle van i had the turtle van of course all the originals first run but my favorite turtle toy was always donatello in the trench coat oh yeah for some reason that was just like a special toy for me <laughs> I, li I like that toy so much yeah yeah and they got silly near the end right like they had like the uh, the robot samurai toys that were mm. all shiny. Remember those? Yeah, yeah. I you had one. I think I had one too. Yeah, yeah. And like the, uh, the aquatic ones. Yeah, too. And the the ones where they're on vacation. They got the sunglasses <laughs> yeah. and everything. The surfboards and shit. Like what? <laughs> it doesn't even happen in the cartoons. Like they're just no. coming out with generic shit. And you had, I think, the first couple of episodes on VHS. I like still do. The first two, we'll get it. Uh, uh, where would they be though? I see uh, Ninja Turtles 2 uh, VHS right over there. Behind the shells making of. Oh. I got that from Jeff. So I always remember that episode in particular because we were able to watch it over and mm -hmm. over again. The pilot. It was at our disposal <laughs> because you had it. So that yeah. episode, like, oh, I know, like, the back of my hand. Kind Throw of... the bum out. out. <laughs> yeah. So out of all those Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toys, what do you still have left? I just have the communicator left. And it kind of always pissed me off that that was the only communicator they released. Yeah, the that's, April O'Neil one. That's April O'Neil's communicator. The Turtles had a different one. Yeah, and I wanted that. Yeah. It's funny, like, how much does this thing probably cost? Look how shitty this really oh. is. I don't know if the price tag is still on here, you know? I think they did have the the turtle ones, I don't too, know if they actually. Did. I don't think they don't actually think they had a turtle did. version. So then, you know, we invested in the cartoon, love the cartoon. Then the movie comes out. Yeah. Oh man. And I remember that poster, the teaser poster, where it was just them all peeking out of the, the sewer, the sewer out of the manhole, and just thinking, "This is gonna be the best thing ever." Yeah. Yeah. It's... Ever. So, do you remember the first time you saw the movie? Yeah. Was it in theaters? Yeah. Yeah, we went together. Did we go together? Yeah, we went. Your dad drove us in his van. Okay. Remember? I remember. I don't remember you being there though. Yeah, I remember oh, yeah. going. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, your dad drove us. That's when he had that different van with that, that, that long back. That big blue van. Yeah. With all the exposed, that that all that insulation, insulation is all exposed <laughs> in the back. <laughs> yeah. I remember your mom sitting on the floor with us too and everything. Oh, my mom went because they were divorced at that time. Yeah, your mom, your mom was there. You're sort of almost scared. You don't know what to expect in the movie. Yeah. And I remember because you don't see, you don't see the Ninja Turtles for a bit. They show all the theft and the crime and stuff like that. And then I remember being a little disappointed and a little scared. And then you see Raphael sigh go up yeah. and hit the light bulb on that lamp. Yeah. And you're like, that's Raphael sigh. Yeah. Yes. They tease you perfectly. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, because like as a kid, you're like, well, where are the Ninja Turtles? You want it right away. Right away. Yeah. And you're like, well, where are they? It's like, and what are they going to be like? And then you see that sign. It's like, okay, 
this is a Ninja Turtles movie. Like, we're yeah. gonna get something. Yeah. Like, yes, yes, yes. This movie is a great example of how instant gratification isn't always a good thing. Because mm -hmm. I think all of us kids who went into that movie weren't instantly gratified. Yeah. Because we're like, what is this? It's dark. Where's the Technodrome? Where's <laughs> Bebop and Rocksteady? You're like, this is nothing like the cartoon. And that's my first thought, right? Mm -hmm. This is nothing like the cartoon. But as soon as the movie starts unrolling, you forget about that very quickly and you don't give two shits. Mm -hmm. This is nothing like the cartoon because it doesn't need to be. Because it's awesome on its own as a standalone <laughs> movie. It's more like the comics. Yeah. It's dark and gritty like the comics. Great way for them to kind of force the tone of the comics on us kids who are used to watching the cartoon. Yeah, yeah. And it's funny, it's a different time too back then because back then there's a lot, you know, it was 1990, so it's essentially still the 80s. And they didn't treat kids like idiots back then. That goes for this movie. It, it's, a, it's a dark movie. It feels like it takes place in the real world. Yeah. Even though it's got mutant ninja turtles in it. And it feels plausible. The way yeah. they do it, the way the movie plays out, feels very plausible that these turtles yeah. can exist. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, what a stupid fucking title <laughs> for a stupid idea of a movie. Yeah. I remember my dad even being after the movie. Yeah, that was a pretty good movie. <laughs> like, probably not expecting it to be that good, because yeah. what, what the hell kind of movie is this gonna be? Teenage yeah. Mutant Ninja Turtles, you know, it's stupid, the cartoon is silly. It's a solid movie that anybody can watch. Pulls at your heartstrings with Splinter being kidnapped, mm -hmm. and they're sad about Splinter. There's the story to tell, yeah. too, right? There's the morals. Yeah. You know, about theft and about kids running away from home, troubled kids. Getting involved in gangs. Regular or menthol? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it touches on real world issues, right? Of, yeah. of, from kids at the time. Which works way better than a technodrome under the earth mm. or on planet X yeah. or whatever. Like this movie is way more relatable than anything in the cartoons because yeah, like Danny, like you relate mm -hmm. with Danny. He's a troubled kid. Find solace in the gang. Yeah, right. like way, way deeper than anything in the cartoon. So even though at first when you watch the movie as a kid, you're like, ah, this is nothing like the cartoons. Where's the theme song? Mm -hmm. Where's Teenage Mutant? It, uh, yeah. Where is that? It's not there. They did go more cartoony for the second one, and it did not have the same effect. No. It feels jokey and stupid, yeah. the second one. And it and, is. Yeah, and it is. Yeah. And it doesn't have the same poignant effect. It doesn't have the same story to tell. This movie holds up so well. A good movie. It's yeah. a good film. Film, yeah. It's a good film. And it had no right to be, really. Better that they went to the source material with the comics, mm -hmm. rather than basing it off the cartoon. All those kids wanted to see a big screen version of the cartoon. Mm -hmm. We got the opposite. And we loved it. And still loved it. Yeah, yeah I love how they, they didn't cop out. They just went for it. Yeah. And it worked. They didn't even bend on one scene at all. No. Nope. Like nothing. They had their vision and they just ran and with they it. They stuck to it. Yeah. And beginning to end. And it is perfect. It's perfect. You can, at the very least, you can respect everybody who is involved in the movie for just that alone. Yeah, having yeah. a vision and sticking to it. Yeah. And not bending because you know that the main general audience, being the kids, probably wants to see mm -hmm. the cartoon. Fuck the kids. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, and good. it's like I'm good. Gl I'm glad they said fuck yeah, the Yeah, because if they would have only made it four kids, I don't think we'd be watching this now. We wouldn't be, because that's know? what they did with part two. Mm -hmm. They made part two for the kids, and honestly, I haven't seen it since the theaters. Yeah, neither did, neither have I. The dialogue is so good and witty and original. Interactions with Casey Jones and everything, like, fucking Casey Jones is just awesome. Yeah, like, <laughs> Casey Jones is such a minor character in the cartoons, and here he's like a main character, and he needs to be, you need that other human, you need yeah. that human that they can interact with, and 
Man, he's so good. The casting is so good for Casey Jones. And the turtles themselves are awesome. Before CGI, real people inside the suits. Done by Jim Henson Studio. And yeah, you got Corey Feldman. That's funny, I have a story about that about Corey Feldman, because he does the voice, right, for Donatello. I never really knew that, even though you grew up watching The Goonies and Lost Boys and Stand By Me. I never put two and two together for the longest time that that was Corey mm -hmm. Feldman doing Donatello. So good at it. <laughs> yeah, I know. He should be doing more voice acting. Anyways, my story is, I went to the shoe store, and I was talking to the woman, and she's like, you, you sound <laughs> like somebody. I'm like, what? I sound like somebody. He's like, yeah, like a famous, like an actor. You sound like an actor. I'm like, what? Really? I'm like, who? She's like, she's thinking about it. She's like, ah, that guy from the Lost Boys. I'm like, what? <laughs> like, who? Like, Kiefer Sutherland? I'm like, no. <laughs> she's like, no, uh, Corey Feldman. You sound like Corey Feldman. You sound just like him. And she was like, <laughs> you sound just as Adam, and you're just like Corey Feldman. Like, I don't I don't think I sound like Corey Feldman. Not at all. And to be that adamant <laughs> yeah, about it too, yeah, like you Jesus. You sound like Corey Feldman. I don't think she knew who Corey Feldman was. <laughs> there's no way you could be that adamant about yeah. that. that yeah. a... And the insults she sold me were the shits and hurt my feet more than they did good. So <laughs> there's that too. <laughs> She wasn't thinking about you after, yeah. she was thinking about Corey Feldman. <laughs> <laughs> the interactions between Casey Jones and April O'Neil, come on. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, it's like, toots. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's like, yeah, they're always fighting yeah. and everything, and oh, fuck, yeah, it's great. They brought Zilla. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cutting up those onions, whatever, with, with yeah. Leonardo's big sword. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's all eating that apple on that swing thing, and it falls. And it breaks, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go sleep in the truck. But yeah, just <laughs> that that old scene. You're claustrophobic. Yeah. Hey, I never even looked at another man before. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they like the comedy work. You don't get right? that line as a kid. I'm not gonna take this. <laughs> I'm gonna go sleep, sleep in the, in the truck. truck. <laughs> <laughs> He's all like claustrophobic and then rolling down the windows. This movie invokes so much emotion too between like when Raphael gets the shit knocked out of him. He's unconscious. And yeah, they, he's in the tub and like April O'Neil comes in, she's squirting that water on his shell and everything. You don't think he's gonna pull through. Yeah, you're, right? you know, and the other turtles are really upset. You actually think, watching this for the first time as a kid, that he might die. Yeah, you, and you're upset by it, the way that they all it all plays out, right? Yeah. And then when he comes to, you're like, yeah! And then there's a training montage yeah. right after, yeah. right? Perfect pacing. The way they make you feel, you know, sad and depressed that this puppet, this rubber puppet is yeah. unconscious in the tub. Perfect movie making. And then you got Splinter too, and he's all strung up, yeah. you know? And But he still manages to get the point across too, right? Still manages to get through to Danny. Yeah. That he's making the wrong you decisions. You have no family, <laughs> yeah. Danny. Yeah. I bought it on Blu-ray, and I still haven't watched it yet because I'm kind of waiting for the perfect moment to watch it. Mm -hmm. And I've heard that some things don't translate so well in, on Blu-ray because you can see more of the oh. suits, seams. Oh yeah. Because that's why they shot it so dark, so you don't see all the seams and the suits and stuff like that, right? Yeah, yeah. Apparently that's a bit more evident in the Blu-ray, but I don't care. I'd much rather see that than some stupid 3D animated bullshit, yeah. tacky, no soul movie. Yeah. You know, this movie's got so much soul and that's why it stands the test of time. Mm -hmm. So much heart in this movie. There is, yeah. It really tugs at the heartstrings. We quote it all the time, you mm -hmm. know. Whoops! <laughs> yeah. If you're watching this and you haven't seen it since back in the day, Check it out, and it's gonna hold up better than you think it's gonna. Hold. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's a movie you can put on all the time. Acting is solid. The effects are great. The puppets, the music, the story, the atmosphere, the settings—it's all 
picture perfect. Yeah, everything. I remember too, like when the turtles were all the rage, my mom took me to the coming out of their shells world tour or yeah, whatever. That, when they played the music <laughs> live and it's yeah. all those poor guys are all like almost died doing that on the heat exhaustion. Uh, doing a bunch of like Beach Boys songs and shit too. Like it was stupid delivery. It was yeah. a good idea, but very few people know about that though. That that was a thing. Yeah, I remember it. I never went, but I remember the commercials seeing the, the, the commercials mm -hmm. for Turtles on Tour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coming out of their shells. And then yeah, it's like the only evidence that I have to prove of that is a little sticker off a toy that I had and I yeah. lost the toy but I yeah. kept the sticker. Yeah I watched a documentary about that on YouTube and the, the, those poor performers they oh, like, yeah. almost died out of heat exhaustion and like dehydration and all that stuff because the suits were mm -hmm. so heavy and you couldn't breathe in that thing. Yeah right? they like tipped the boots over and yeah. just sweat would yeah. pour out it's like oh poor fuck. bastards. <laughs> so that's her little VHS tales about growing up with the Ninja Turtles movie and being very happy it was not like the cartoon. Mm -hmm. Even though that's not what we wanted going in, but we were glad that's what we got going out. Yeah, and the movie still holds up to this day. And it's something that still tugs at the heartstrings. You still get emotional. You still shed a tear over some fucking puppets. Yep. And yep. That's movie making, baby. Yeah. Till next time, keep drinking. <laughs>